take a look at the tail of the tape for these welterweights. And at 34, the American James Krause might be four years younger, but he has a lot more fight experience. Fans, we are set to go with the next bout tonight. Three rounds this in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, his background kickboxing and jujitsu. At six feet, two inches tall, he weighed in officially 171 pounds. This 36 fight veteran holds a professional record of 27 victories and nine defeats. Fighting out of Lee's Summit, Missouri, USA, here is the James Krause. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, 11 inches tall. He also weighed in 171 pounds and in 15 pro fights, holds a record of 14 victories and one defeat. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, by way of Hondonopolis, Mato Grosso, here is Claudio Anibal Silva. And your referee in charge of the action is Wukash Bosatsky. So Caesars William Hill have this as James Krause, the minus 135 favorite. Coming back Red. on the other side, Red. Claudio fight. Silva plus 115. The fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. So Silva in the gray, Krause in the black. Just to make it clear, Claudio Silva trains a lot of the time, is, is a resident in the UK, in London. Does fight camps over in ATT, but of course is originally from Brazil. Hence the Brazilian tag that he throws around. So Kraus talking about the Moraes fight. It's, it's about making good decisions, staying out of the way of danger, and picking his opportunities. Claudio Silva will take any opportunity that's given to him. But he really should probably want this fight on the floor because the footwork and striking of James Kraus are I mean, very, very experienced, very slick in his movement. Claudio really does throw a lot of power in his strikes, but that's because he doesn't mind being taken down. If it hits the floor, you're in his world. Kraus talked about being slippery, being too slippery for Claudio Silva, not being where he expects him to be. And to this point, he's been able to do that. Notice how he's just out of range, switching stances as Claudio tries to enter. And that's you see any of the, the guys from Kraus's gym and their footwork, mm -hmm. you see them on the pads and... They're like snaking their way around the map as they're hitting. That Absolutely, hurts. but that's why you see the big misses by Silva, right? That punch hurt Claudio Silva. Yep, that right oh, hand to the that body. Did as well. He landed a right hand to the solar plexus, and you just saw Claudio step back and drop his elbows. And now Kraus is looking for that drop back right hand. He's landed it twice now. Yep. Silva's got to be careful crashing forward. But that's Silva. what he does, right? Silva usually throws a lot of body kicks, but right now he's not throwing as many. And Kraus is just seeing everything. But his, his chin's always in the air. He stargazes with every time every time he throws a punch. And he is getting touched. If he's not careful, Cross is going to put him off. Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. Oh, that's a nice right hand by Kraus. See, Claudio Silva's right hand has got a real arc to it. Beautiful takedown. But here Straight is the Claudio back. Silva's equalizer to any striking offense. Yep. And now it should be almost like a panic for Kraus to get back to his feet and get back to the center. Kraus did been... say though he feels so he feels confident if it hits the floor. Yeah, but not with the guy on your back. I True. mean, you, none, you know, none of us want to be <laughs> with our opponent on our back. You know, you got to get up. And here, height a height's very important for Kraus here. As long as he's high and above, oh, above nice. the body of Silva, he's okay. He just got to stay high. Look at Silva keeping the weight going forward. Both, great job by both guys right now. Struggling to get onto the back of Kraus, given the fact that Kraus is standing upright. Any rash movement from Claudio Silva is certainly going to find him on the floor, because Kraus is going to be quite slick in his movements here, trying to strip the grip from his waist. If you're James Kraus, you got to get that lock on one of your hips. You can't keep it in the middle. He did a great job yep. turning out of that. Nice technical stuff by Kraus. These shots are winging from Claudio Silva. Yeah, and again, like I said, Kraus is just out of the way. That's why you see such big misses, because he knew that Claudio Silva was going to come at him with these big looping punches. And because oh, he hurts him with that. And they must expend so much energy. Yeah, Silva's going to wear himself down. 
by throwing everything with those big wide shots. Kraus has got his measure with that right hand. Claudio's coming in, he's throwing a big overhand right himself, but Kraus is just sliding back slightly out of range and then stinging him down the pipe with a straight right. I love the little feint with the left shoulder that Kraus gives Claudio Silva. Right before he attacks him, he gives him a little feint with the, with the left shoulder, and then Silva seems lost in those actions. Let's see what James man. Kraus does here on the canvas. Oh, he backs out. Kraus wants to be the first in the UFC to solve the riddle of Hannibal Silva. He's on a full team fight win streak. And this, this southpaw stance is actually quite suiting James Kraus because it's forcing... Oh, that was a good left hand. Big left hand there by Silva. Yeah, that was a lot straighter than the previous shots. Could you imagine if Silva starts to throw straight now? Because right. now Kraus expects we everything coming around the outside. Yep. And Kraus was able to see the trajectory on the left hand as it was coming over the top. Get out of the way and start countering with his own straight. There it is again. Cracking him across the chin. Big guys, it doesn't, Silva. It doesn't need to look pretty to be effective, right? No. But Silva's going to fatigue himself. Oh, oh my God. Again. Silva's hurt here. He's back up against the fence. Bad. Ten seconds. Last few seconds. Can Silva survive here to get into the second round? Looks like it'll be. We'll be back. Yeah. Here, baby. Kraus over here, baby. Hey, little ice on your neck. Yours all day. Now listen, water's in your hand, okay? All right, listen to me. Hey, deep breath, deep breath. Listen. All right, look. Put it on my head. Hey, listen to me. If you're if you're gonna slide out of his straight left hand like you're doing, don't just do it off the draw. Work work to float to your right side, and then you'll be able to counter hard off that. Okay? No. My knee's torn. You all right? Yeah. I'll okay. Right. Okay. Listen to me. Right here, you see James Krause step back, right hand lands. Hurts Silva very bad. You see it in the motion in the eyes. Now, James Krause said to his coach, my knee's torn up. He's moving pretty good to say that the knee's affecting him, but if he's more stationary, it'll put him in the range of Claudio Silva. And this, this is the problem, is he's, he's relying on his footwork to land yep. his uh, counter strikes. That was a winging right hook from James Krause. Both at the same time, I think we're gonna have a rocky moment <laughs> for a second. You can really see the wind up in Claudio Silva's movement every time he decides he wants to move forward. Good movement by Kraus, getting his head out of the way, making sure his hips aren't vulnerable for the takedown. Oh, there it is again. Stinging him with that right hand as he's coming in. Yeah, Kraus is chipping him up at the moment. And those straights to the midsection as well are gonna pay dividends. The one in the first round really hurt Claudio Silva, and that's partially probably why he's struggling with his gas a little bit. He's taking some deep breaths. He definitely is. Oh, can he finish this? I love how James Krause is so intent on staying away oh, from and the again. Crowd. He will do whatever he needs to in order to get away from Claudio Silva. A man with 14 submissions to, on his own resume. Yeah, for sure. But he understands that this does not have to be a tough fight. And again, that comes from coaching, right? How many times do you think James Krause has told an athlete, take the easiest way to a victory, yeah. the easiest pass? Yeah. He's doing the same thing right now against Claudio Silva. Letting go of his ego. And even if he's not able to get out of the way of these big shots of Claudio Silva, he's at least able to brace himself and cover. You can just, there's, there's so much telegraphing from Claudio Silva before he decides to attack. I mean, that's what happens when you load up, though. When you load up on everything, they don't land. That's why a lot of knockout punches come whenever you don't see him, and it seems to be thrown with so little effort. Kraus asking Mark Montoya to repeat his instructions in the corner. That shows, that shows a presence. Presence of mind. Now, Claudio Silva looks as if he's fatiguing, but he's still throwing the same amount of output. He's still going forward trying to get the cross. Well, th this is the difference with Claudio Silva and, and the Marais fight, which uh, Kraus was expecting this to be very similar to. Mm -hmm. the, the fact that Marais, as soon as he ran out of gas, he was <laughs> starting to lay yeah. down the canvas. And you're not going to get that from Claudio no, Silva. No, Claudio's going to keep trying to fight and win. 
I mean, the, the, the nickname Hannibal, whether it's Hannibal of Carthage or Hannibal Lecter, they're both pretty terrifying individuals. Dan, I have no idea who Hannibal of Carthage is. But the way you said Carthage, <laughs> Hannibal of Carthage. Hey, hey I'm I love it. I, I, sometimes I don't know what he's doing. What is he's, Hannibal of Carthage? He's very educated. <laughs> reads a lot. <laughs> Hannibal of Carthage was the man that nearly brought down the Roman Empire and oh. marched across the Alps with elephants. Okay, oh, well, he's a tough guy. He's a special guy individual. Know. I should probably know yeah, who that is. Should know that. <laughs> should. Guess what we're doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> History class. Claudio Silva is someone who I've actually witnessed fight three times in one night. Drink at the same kind of places, do you, John? <laughs> As the if, Hannibal. If I'm James Cross, I'm throwing jab up high, that straight right to the body again on, on Silva. He does not like that, and beautiful because he's a southpaw. It's like almost like throwing a body kick, but instead the punch is coming straight up the middle. Krauss needs to be careful. He's, he's very much returning to that straight right counter over and over again. Oh, that was a nice shot by Silva. Yep, a little shovel right hand right up the middle. Landed on James. But like you said, Dan, now it's time for James to oh. mix it up a little bit. Because he's thrown so many of those straight right hands, now he needs to maybe loop that right hand or throw the right hand straight and then loop it around the top. That might land on Silva. I like his attacks to the body. I, I think that I think that's money in the bank for him. That was a nice straight left from Silva. Oh, and again over the top. Nice, beautiful head movement there from Kraus, moving backwards, counter punching. Silver is looking to take the head off. Silver's just throwing now, and he's almost giving up on the takedown. A two right, a three, four. A lot, and, a lot of shots are landing for Kraus now. Yes, and, and John, of course he's throwing that right hand over and over again. He can't miss with it. Welcome back. This third round is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And between rounds, a lot of technical detail, which I'll hand over to my colleagues. But the big news is James Krause's knee really is in terrible condition. Uh huh. He said it's hurt. And Mark Montoya was very, you know, told this fighter he thinks that the second round was really close. Very honest with him. I don't know if that second round was as close as Coach saw it. Oh. If you're a coach, you want to err on the side of caution. Yeah, I mean, you know, if, you, if we look at the stats, James Krause has only five strikes ahead total. Um, it really depends on how the judges are seeing this octagon control and pressure. But James Krause is looking for that straight right over and over again. Oh, oh he's, he's turning that control. inside leg. What Mark Montoya was asking him to do is to follow up with that, uh, follow up with something else after that. Maybe even stand his ground a little bit if the knee's bothering him. And just look at the resilience of Claudio Silva. Something else that Kraus did say though is, "Give me a minute, I'm going to finish him." <laughs> and that's the first minute of the last round gone. And takedown offense is also going to be affected by that low kick. Look at that. Every time he kicks that leg, though, he's hurting Kraus. So that, that knows. leg is messed up. Hannibal knows. He senses it. It's a nice short left hook from Kraus. Snappy right hand. This, this could really be about output in this fight. Yes. I mean, we've got 35 seconds control for Silva, 14 for Kraus, 52 to 57 strikes in favor of. Uh, in favor of James Kraus on the, on the stats in front of me, but it doesn't tell the story of the fight. But then, then it's like... Some communication between corners, different corners, opposing corners, interesting stuff. We're talking about activity, right? But what type of activity? Silva is throwing a lot of strikes, but they're big, looping, big punches that are being blocked and missing. Kraus has been much more accurate over the course of the fight. Oh, that was a beautiful straight right. Silva just takes the shot so well. Silva is tough, man. He is a very, very tough guy. And he has a winner's mentality, right? One point, he fights in a row. 
He lost his very first fight. Dude might as well be undefeated. You know, it's, yeah. it's one of those things when you win for so long, you have to teach him how to lose again. See, there's an opportunity here for Silva to start fainting his way in and try and draw that straight right of James Krause. Maybe even set him up for a takedown. Faint that, high level yep. change. Especially given the fact that the knee looks, looks to be really struggling for James Krause. That's a very good point, Dan. Faint, because it's been a long time since he's even attempted a takedown. And he's actually having a very good... Oh, there it is. It's exactly what you were asking for. And he's having a good third round. Silva is having a really good third round. And much more because James Krause is there to be hit as well, given the yep, fact that he's... Can't he's, move. He's, yeah. Krause doing a good job of hiding it, though. <laughs> he is doing a good job. There's that right hand over the top again. Kicks Krause checked that one. Yeah, he did. Hell of a fight between these two veterans. Yes. Yeah, Krause spoke about how it's not just experience that he's got. He said what's more valuable is fight IQ, and he believes he has that. See, sometimes toughness is, is enough. <laughs> well, and there's little tricks, right? And just little tricks. Like, Krauss is hitting him with a lot of little tricks, right? Even though he's very stationary and he can't move as if he would normally move. He's got tricks in there. Level change for Krauss there, denied easily by Silva. Both these guys take down the fences, holding up. Right hand's been money for Krauss. And that left hand looked pretty good on Silver as well. This is one of those fights where I kind of feel like Krauss feels like he's he's leading the dance a little bit because he's landing really nice clean shots. But at the same time, that the pressure, the eagerness yep. of Claudio Silver is keeping him in this fight. Just the activity, right? You just yeah. saw that. Claudio Silva missed four attacks, but he's still oh. just throwing. I mean, he's even <laughs> throwing hammer fists from the stand-up position. Right. Conor McGregor, he's Floyd Mayweather stuff. And, and the difference is with Kraus again, he's, he's throwing single shots. Landing the single shot, that was oh, nice. nice. Mouth that was nice. comes oh. out. So so that inside that low kick. Hey, 15 seconds to go. I just don't know which way this fight's going. I think Kraus has landed the cleaner shots throughout the fight. He has taken some shots he didn't need to take, though, which might make those scorecards tighter than they uh, perhaps are in his head. There it is. We will see the judges' scorecard. Right now, though, it's time for a break. Make this one official when we come back.